Hello everybody, uh, this is Alex from Centaurus Computers again. Today I'm gonna be doing a review of motherboard. Uh, it's uh, Intel chipset motherboard from MSI. Uh, the model z 170 a Pro. 170 is the chipset. Uh, Basically, it's based on um, LGA1151 uh, uh, chipset and uh, Z170 is like the best uh, uh, version of the motherboard for that chipset that you can get. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of different motherboards based on that chipset. Uh, this one is not like the most expensive one, but nevertheless, it's still a really nice motherboard. Uh, comes with a lot of features. Uh, it has got most of the features that like most of the users will ever use, uh, and uh, it's pretty, it's reliable, uh, and we like it so far. As you can see, it's mostly plain uh, black box on the front. It doesn't say a lot. Uh, chipset Z170 inside. Uh, Intel processors uh, supported obviously. It doesn't say which ones but it's gonna be Skylake. On this side it's the same same here, not much, uh, serial numbers, uh, stuff like that. Uh, some notes on different languages, uh, DDR4, not much. Uh, most of the information is, information is on the back. So as you can see it's uh, Z170A Pro, that's the model uh, now, it shows here that it does support 4K and legacy video support. Uh, by legacy video support, they uh, basically tell you that it has got DVI, VGA output for like all the monitors. Uh, it also has, uh, I believe, HDMI. We'll uh, we'll check about that later. But it does support 4K output via integrated uh, video. So um, Intel processor that you will plug into that motherboard. It has got integrated video uh, GPU on board. Uh, that motherboard has uh, outputs like DVI, VGA and I believe there is an HDM HDMI as well that you can use uh, to like show picture on your monitor but it's gonna be a really really basic video like you're not gonna be playing games on it. Uh, still if it says uh, it supports 4K, it means that you can use 4K monitor, uh, but it's just going to be for like regular work, uh, watching videos, uh, browsing the internet, uh, uh, checking out YouTube, but not not much more than that, and definitely not gaming at 4K. And uh, most of the processors based on Skylake include Intel HD 530 uh, GPU, which is like not really good. You can play some games on it on lower settings, but it's not really good. Still, 4K support is uh, like really good here, uh, and then uh, like. Discrete GPU is advisable. Like this is PCI Express slot here, so you should uh, buy some good video card for that kind of motherboard if you're planning to use that computer for gaming or video processing, anything like that. And uh, then if you have a problem with that uh, video card that you buy, you can always take it out and still use onboard video uh, just for backup purposes. Now uh, then it shows here audio boost uh, ensures you can enjoy true high quality, sound, when playing games, blah blah blah, watching movies, listening to music, high quality audio capacitors. It's just basic sound, but still uh, you see that area here for audio is isolated and it kind of provides better quality sound without uh, uh, those little interruptions from the rest of the motherboard. M-Cloud uh, is just uh, software bundled with it. Uh, military class 4 top quality components like supposedly it's uh, durable and reliable uh, easy debug LED that's helpful uh, it shows you if, um, like if there isn't any problem with CPU memory video card uh, it's gonna blink and tell you about that DDR4 boost well it supports DDR4 and boost technology isolates memory circuit from other components uh, well that's uh, just a another advertising gimmick, uh, it doesn't give you much. High-speed storage, Turbo M.2 and SATA Express. Well, SATA Express is kind of dead at this point, uh, because we don't see a lot of SATA Express, if any at all, uh, hard drives or anything like that, so like it's not gonna do much, but 
Uh, M.2, the successor to M.2, oh, okay, it's 2 by M.2, uh, and it supports uh, performance, okay, up to 32 gigabit per second. Uh, Gen 3 X4 PCI Express, which is good, so you can use M.2 SSD here, you don't have to buy that uh, 3.5 inch uh, regular SSD drive, which will be limited to uh, SATA 3 speeds. So that supposedly is a little bit faster and SATA Express like, well, it's dead by now. So the rest I'm gonna show you uh, on the motherboard itself. So let's open the box and see what's inside. Okay. So this is the motherboard. Plain bag. Let me show you what accessories we got here. Disk with drivers, never use those, always download fresh drivers from the internet. Uh, thank you for choosing MSI products, you can register it, maybe get some free game or something. Quick install guide, some basic info here. Uh, big manual, I guess on different languages, yeah, three languages here, maybe four, maybe even more. So it has got all the info you need on installing the motherboard and some info on bias as well. Two SATA cables, they should really like put three there because most of the people would use DVD, SSD and HDD and uh, like today's just two SATA cables, not enough and the backplate. Nothing else in the box. So let's get to the motherboard itself. So, oh, here is the motherboard. Uh, let me go with the basic layout. Uh, it's pretty good. Most of the times uh, it doesn't look that good because there would be like little errors here and there, but this time MSI like kind of nailed it. Um, CPU connector here, so uh, 12 volt connector, you're gonna use all 8 leads here. Uh, the socket itself, few little heat sinks. They are not big, but they look quite good, reliable. Okay, four DDR4 memory slots, and um, it should support memory up to like DDR4 3000 on uh, 3200, something like that. Should work fine in there. Uh, main power connector here, USB 3.0, uh, which is a good location for it. Uh, that's, by the way, another USB 3.0, so if you, if you have got some kind of um, card reader that supports USB 3.0, that's a good one. Uh, SATA, SATA and more SATA ports here. They all regular uh, 6 gigabit per second versions. Another little heat sink here. Now all are PCI Express slots. So it's PCI Express 1X, 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 1X. Uh, which are perfectly fine. We don't need regular PCI slots anymore. Two PCI Express 16X slots. Uh, well, you gotta check manual and specs for this motherboard. Uh, this one is definitely 16X. This one might be like 4X uh, and that's probably the case. And I believe this motherboard supports Crossfire with Radeon cards but not SLI. Which, like, it's not high-end motherboard, so you're probably not gonna run SLI here. Uh, here is an M.2 slot, so you can insert uh, M.2 SSD here, uh, some screws to secure it. It has got quite a few uh, connectors for, for the fans. Uh, let's see here. System fan 1. Now, this is CPU fan. CPU fan 2, so you can use like two CPU fans here. Uh, well, if you got two fans on your heatsink, or if you have uh, liquid cooling, you can connect uh, the, the pump to one of those and uh, the fan itself to another one. System fan 3, now what else here? And system fan 2, so there are four, no, three connectors for uh, regular case fans and two connectors for CPU, uh, so basically five total, which is really good for motherboard of this this level. 
uh, the layout is pretty good. Uh, you can see the uh, audio circuit uh, is separated here in this white area, so uh, there will be no interference with the rest of the motherboard. Supposedly you get better sound from that. Well, we'll see about that. Um, front connections, uh, I mean rear connections. Uh, PS2, well, it's an old one. USB 3.0, two ports here and two here, which is excellent. You got four of them and two legacy USB uh, 2.0 for like older stuff that doesn't really like USB 3.0 and there, there is a lot of hardware that uh, doesn't really uh, play nice with USB 3.0 so you gotta use those black ones uh, for that. Um, six audio ports which is good uh, usually on motherboards like this you see only three of them and for six uh, when you have six you can use more kind of high-end audio systems uh, Ethernet port uh, VGA DVI and you've got display port I've been mistaken about HDMI it doesn't have HDMI but it's better it has got display port which does support 4k and it's better than HDMI uh, it provides more speed, uh, well, quality is the same, but for 4K it's just perfect. And uh, definitely you can use some kind of adapter if you need HDMI, you can use adapter from DisplayPort to HDMI or from DVI to HDMI, so it's not a big deal. Um, six USB ports total, um, and that's great, that's, that should be enough for the back of the computer. Plus, you still get two internal USB 3.0 connectors. You can uh, add another like uh, extension plate on the front of your computer with few more USB 3.0 ports. Plus, USB 2.0, 2.0 here. Two more for four connectors, uh, four uh, USB 2.0 slots total. Uh, audio port and few more connections that are not like really common. And so to wrap it up, uh, that's that's a good motherboard. Uh, ASRock uh, Pro S4 is about the same. Uh, this board's really good uh, for like not basic but average builds uh, with overclockable processors uh, based on Skylake uh, specs. Um, we like them a lot because, like I said before, they're reliable, they're simple to use, good layout, uh, they're durable. Uh, we can quite successfully overclock uh, K processors with those boards, um, so uh, we don't have problems with that. Uh, BIOS looks good as well, uh, and we kind of like using them. And uh, if you buy one of the computers with uh, overclockable K processor based on Skylake, uh, uh, and you like if you do not upgrade your motherboard, that's probably what you're gonna see inside of your computer. And uh, if you like it, perfect. Uh, if you want to see something different, uh, there are some upgrade options that you can use uh, to get like more advanced motherboards with more slots, uh, maybe better layout, different color, like red, black, whatever you want. There are different options. So this is it for the motherboard. And uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, uh, please rate it, uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, you'll see a lot more different videos. And thank you for watching us. Uh, visit our website at www.centauruscomputers.com. Uh, you'll see, you'll find a lot of good, great computers configurations there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us. Thank you and have a great day.